name is Tal. I'm a sales application engineer at Munters. Platinum Plus version 5 incorporates some great improvements when it comes to variable speed fans. In this video, we'll show you how to use them. So let's get started. In previous versions, the variable speed fans were not part of the tunnel, exhaust and stir fan list, which made it a bit harder to set up. There were tunnel fans, exhaust fans, stir fans and variable speed fans. In this new update, we can now define any fan as variable speed. So let's install some fans. Press menu on the main screen, navigate to installation menu and then select analog output. In this menu, you can define any device as variable speed device. For example, exhaust fan 1. Now let's navigate back to the relay layout and try to define an exhaust fan. You will see that you can only start with exhaust fan 2 because exhaust fan 1 is already defined. And now let's see how it looks like in the levels of ventilation table. Navigate back to device menu and select levels of ventilation. When you scroll to exhaust fan 1, you will see a small wavy sign. This means that this fan is a variable speed fan. You can choose this fan to be continuous or a cycle. Now press menu to exit this table and select the second table, variable speed fan levels. Here you can select the speed of the fan for each level. Pressing 7 on the main screen will take you to the analog output screen, which you can view all the variable speed devices with their current intensity. The next function is a real time saver. It is called same as analog. And this feature allows us to control a variable speed device with a relay and switch. This feature was aimed to solve two issues. The first one is to provide a manual on-off switch control for the variable speed. Previously, we had to enter the levels of ventilation and change the percentage or remove the fan completely from the device layout if we wanted to shut it down. Now simply turn off the switch that is associated with that variable speed fan. The second objective is to provide an activation relay for the variable speed fan something which is required for some of the variable speed fans in the market. So let's define a fan and assign an analog output relay. First scroll to the installation menu and then select analog output. Then let's define a fan, for example, exhaust fan 1. As you can see on the left, this fan was defined on analog output 1. And now let's get out and select relay layout. Press enter and scroll all the way down to same as analog. After pressing enter, you will see that the relay is now same as analog output 1. Analog output 1 is actually exhaust fan 1. Now, whenever the fan is operating more than 0%, the associated relay will turn on. On the other hand, whenever I want to activate the fan full speed, I can change the associated relay switch to manual on. And if I want to turn it off, then I switch the associated switch to manual off. Important point for anyone using a Munters drive fan. If you are operating a Munters drive fan, then the voltage is reversed. For example, minimum 10 volt and maximum 0 volt. In this case, do not forget to navigate to installation and then analog output. Now press help and then set and define maximum fan speed to zero volt. <laughs> 